So, if you guys remember from my last video, I said uh, you can do a lot of cool stuff with player data modification. Well, um, today I have custom player damage. You know, uh, before you can like use instant damage, do some coarse damage to a player, but you can never control your damage, you know, perfectly. Uh, but now it is possible, and I'll demonstrate. We go into adventure and uh, let's just heal myself here. So I can damage myself. Uh, I can give myself a score. Let's say scoreboard set E and uh, damage. And let's give myself, I don't know, 13 points of damage. And it will give me exactly 13 points of damage. Now this works with any number, of course. Um, I can do like, uh, oh, I don't know, 7. And it will give me 7. Uh, now how does this work? Well, uh, I'll demonstrate right here. Basically what it's doing is it's giving the player an item in the head and then uh, applying, you know, a health reduction and updating your health. Now, before that wasn't really possible, at least compactly. It was possible, but it would take like 20 commands. Uh, one for every health combination, and then if you have like 50 health, then you have to make 50 commands. Uh, but this actually works with any kind of health configuration. So actually, you can... Uh, oops. Let's give myself a uh, health boost, I don't know, 100 seconds, health boost, I have four, sure. And, yeah, I should heal myself up. And you'll see I have 20 hearts, and this scoreboard objective still works. So if I can do, I don't know, uh, 19, then it'll do 19 damage, just like that. Um, now, uh, does it work with armor? Yes, it does. Uh, so I can give myself golden helmets. And let's, um, yeah, let's enchant it, you know. Uh, and let's, uh, damage it, you know, just to demonstrate. Oh. There we go. And you're going to see it has damage, it has an enchantment on it, and, oh, we can name it too, yeah, let's name it. Boop. And you'll see that if I damage myself, uh, let's give myself 5 damage, everything remains on the helmet. So enchantments still work, durability is still there, name is still there, and I can demonstrate here. See? And that wasn't possible before, but now because you can edit player data, uh, you can save and you can restore uh, the data tags on your player. And using that, I can do custom damage. Now, are there any limitations? Um, yes, of course, there are limitations. Uh, one of the biggest caveats is uh, you get these weird death messages even though you're not supposed to. You're not dead yet, basically. Uh, I will give myself 8 damage. And you'll see it says you died, but I actually have one heart left. And if I click respawn, I'm still here. Uh, that is a bug that Mo Yang really needs to fix. It's, actually, it's been around since Minecraft 1.6. But no one has really bothered them about it, so they never fixed it. Um, now, if you want to get this fixed and basically make custom damage work 100%, then go bug them about it. I'll put the bug in the description of this video, and uh, yeah, you can take a look at it. Any other limitations? Uh, yes, uh, absorption doesn't work. So if I give myself uh, absorption, Oops, there we go, 100 seconds, yeah, whatever. Um, you'll see that absorption doesn't actually buffer the damage, and that's because 
there is no way for me to uh, damage the player a specific amount in absorption. I can only damage in raw health. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So custom damage. Cool stuff, cool stuff. You can now make weapons or whatever that do any kind of arbitrary damage you want. And it's very easy. And it's all in a data pack uh, uh, that I will put in the description. No setup required. Uh, it'll automatically create the scoreboard and all that. So all you have to do is scoreboard, player set, damage, and whatever value you want. That's about it.